Hey guys, Trevor here with eCommerce Paradise. Welcome back to the last video in the Ultimate Guide to Dropshipping mini course. This video is going to tie up all the information in the other videos and bring it all into full circle for you, into focus so that you can understand and grasp what this all means and how to put it all together and how to get started today. So the key elements of success of what this video is all about, and truly the most important element of success is to add value to the transaction. You are truly between the supplier and the customer. And so from the supplier's perspective, you should be adding value to them in the form of content and sh comparison shopping and other ways to make it great and easier for that supplier to reach their potential customers in the marketplace. And from the customer's perspective, you should make it easier to shop. So the same things that are gonna help the supplier are gonna help the customer. Now, you have to understand the supplier might not have a marketing team on staff. They might, but they're not that trained. It's very expensive to do marketing. It's multiple thousands of dollars per month, and that's where you come into play. So you'll be able to offer them marketing expertise in exchange for a dealer discount, a wholesale discount on their product. So when you sell it, you keep the commission. You keep the, the difference in the price, basically. And uh, so you'll be doing paid advertising, you'll be doing SEO, you'll be doing social media marketing, you'll be doing video marketing, email marketing, all these different types of things that I teach in the Dropshipping Masterclass in order to provide value to the supplier and to get their products to the marketplace. And from the consumer's perspective, you'll be doing all sorts of things to follow up with them, customer service, sales, and comparison shopping, all sorts of content to make sure they're picking the best product for their needs, right? So that's truly what it's all about. You really need to focus on marketing and SEO. It's important because if you get in there with the paid advertising, you get in there with the remarketing, the email, the video, the content, the SEO, you're going to be able to create this whole sales funnel experience where no matter where somebody goes, if they're searching for products that you sell, they're gonna find you. And that's how you close those sales. Some SEO resources are SEO Moz and Search Engine Land, Neil Patel, and, uh, and there's many more. I'm gonna actually link below to a blog article on ecommerceparadise.com. Uh, I'm gonna call it ecommerceparadise.com slash SEO. And there you're gonna have tons of SEO resources where you can go and find out all the different places you can learn more about e-commerce SEO, okay? And then there's tons of great marketing resources as well, like the HubSpot blog, Seth Godin's blog, QuickSprout, Kissmetrics, Copyblogger, um, the Shopify blog. So I'm gonna also have a blog article there, ecommerceparadise.com slash marketing, and that's gonna list an entire uh, list of the best marketing resources online you can go and find as well. Um, so with that said, one of the keys to adding value to your niche is to specialize in those products. So choose one particular line of products and differentiate between all the different brands and products within that niche, right? And specialize as a website in one particular niche. You can go uh, broader, but you have to understand that the more broad you go, the longer it's gonna to take to launch, the, the harder it's gonna to be to actually scale your website, and the harder it is gonna to be to land certain supplier accounts. So going niche specific is very important, especially in the beginning. So specialize and really break down all the different key points of those products and provide different comparison shopping perspective on those products, okay? And then you really have to focus on the long-term picture, right? So some of the things you can provide more value to your customers are um, add-ons, upsells, and memberships, right? And community communities, anything else these people might want. And you can create other niche sites in, in similar niches and uh, send them to those sites as well to buy those products. So have a long-term perspective, focus on customer service, um, focus on customer acquisition. In the beginning, you might not make as much profit per order, but you really wanna get all those customers so you can remarket to them properly, right? So that's really key too. And you have, to, you have to really focus on offering outstanding customer service, really high quality, exceptional customer service. The better your customer service is, the more friendly your reps are, the better they are at selling the people and finding the right solutions for them, the more likely you are to have a long-term, sustainable and profitable e-commerce business. And guys, don't get hung up on the small stuff. Don't get hung up for hours making little code adjustments to your website or figuring out different like little things, um, focus more on the big picture stuff. And my best advice for productivity on a day-to-day -day basis is to start the day off by writing down all the things you wanna do and choose one big thing that might include a few multi, uh, subtasks below that, but choose one big project you wanna get done that day. Um, and with that said, it might take more days than just that one. So decide that next day whether you want to work on that same big project or not. And maybe if it's a bigger project, maybe make it for that one week or even that whole month, right? So there you go. Plan out your days, weeks, and months in advance. And then you can look back and see what you've accomplished and reward yourself appropriately. And guys, 
truly the most important step to this entire process is getting started, taking that first step. So the first step I recommend doing is actually signing up for my dropshipping masterclass. It's a full in-depth how-to and step-by-step -step tutorial guide on starting a business. I actually start a real dropshipping online e-commerce high ticket store um, throughout that course, right? So I show you all the things that happen and I put those videos in there and you get to see the the actual setup of each account, the actual setup of everything, and you get to see the results of what that store has done. So you can see how it's actually real. So I walk you through that process. I don't just tell you to do something, I show you how to do it. And that's really important. I think that's a key differentiator between my course and many others, is that many others just tell you to do something, I show you actually doing it in real time. And yes, I'll be updating the course as time goes on as well, as technology changes, things look different, things change, things are uh, added on and, and made better, and I'll be changing that course every month so that it's updated with the newest information as well. So go definitely check out that link in the description. Go check out the Dropshipping Masterclass and sign up for the webinar and go out there and definitely get started today, guys. Read books, listen to podcasts, and uh, read blogs, and sign up for email lists and all that stuff and just integrate yourself into the e-commerce and marketing world because you're, there's a lot to learn and it takes a lot of time. And I know you're gonna love it because you get to live this lifestyle of being location independent, whether that means working from home and hanging out with your family all the time, or whether that means traveling the world for you. It could mean both as well. So definitely get out there guys, get started today, take action, click that link, and I'll see you guys on the other side, on the inside of the course. Take care.